It's time to do some game testing and actually run around this scene and see how everything's coming along. So to do some game testing, the simplest way to do it is by setting up some kind of a player controller within the game that we can just activate the game and play with. Okay. So we have this game view over here and the game view allows us to do that but right now there's no type of character controller with any type of scripts or anything that allows us to test the game out. So to do that is actually pretty easy. You can create and program your own but probably the simplest way to jump at the game testing is by going to Unity Standard Assets and I actually imported character controllers earlier in this tutorial in a previous video and by doing that with Unity 3, we get two different types of character controllers we can use. We can use a third person controller or a first person controller. So you have both different options. I'm going to go with the first person controller, uh, more like an FPS type of game. And I'm going to just take this asset and drag and drop it into the scene. When I do that, I have myself my first person controller. If I go to the game view, now I can see the view from that first person uh, player character controller. Let me go back over here to the scene view. So we've got this uh, character controller here. It's kind of preset. It's pre-made for us. It's a little bit small at the moment, so I'm going to make some adjustments, okay? So with the first person controller, we can see it right here in our asset list in the hierarchy view. What I'm going to do is I'm going to show you here what it has. It has a graphics component and then the main camera. The main camera uh, is right here. The first person controller itself has some scripts to it that come with Unity, okay? So I'm going to go to the character controller script over here and I'm going to make some changes. I'm going to take the height and change it from 2 to 5 to make it a little bit bigger. I'm going to take this radius and increase it to 1. Again, making it a little bit bigger. This slope limit will determine what we can walk on. Um, right now it's set to 45 degrees. I'm going to change that to 80 degrees so it's easier to walk around on level to, you know, climb over debris and stuff like that. All these, uh, all these other settings I'll leave at default. I'm going to go to the character motor script and I can change some things here like the jumping parameters I can change that so I can change the amount of the height that we can jump at different things like that I can change the movement parameters right here uh, we have a lot of different options we can tweak to get the right type of movement we want okay so I'm going to come over here and kind of lift this guy off the floor the, uh, the little graphics here which is this capsule um, we can actually go ahead and hide this we don't have to if you wanted to you could set the scale up to 1 1 and 1 uh, it's not going to be very practical though I'm going to hide that because I don't want to see that normally what you would do is for a first person shooter type game you wouldn't use a little capsule object like that you would have a set of uh, arms uh, you know with animations for firing reloading stuff like that and arms would be holding a weapon like uh, maybe an assault rifle or machine gun, something like that. In this case, we have this little capsule, which isn't going to do us much good. So I'm going to take the first person uh, controller here and look at the camera. The camera, I'm going to move up a little bit higher, sort of so it's in, in the imaginary eye section of the character. And I'm going to hit the play button. And by hitting the play button, we'll go ahead and load this up in our scene. And now I can actually look around with the mouse. I can use the typical first person shooter keys to move around, like the W, A, S, and D keys. I can use spacebar to jump. So I can climb up these stairs right here. Right now our character cannot move very fast. So you can see he's very, very slow. So we need to make some adjustments to the movement. So I'm going to take the first person controller. I'm going to go down to the uh, character motor script and change some of these movement controls. So I'm going to take the max forward speed and increase from 6 to about maybe 30 will work out pretty good. I'm going to take the max ground acceleration and I'm going to up that to about 60. And the gravity, I'm going to increase to about 40. This should work out pretty fine. I'm going to hit play, test this out again. Now we move a little bit faster. I can come up these uh, stairs. I can run in my scene here. I can go up the staircase. I can look at my lights. I can look at the walls. I can look at everything. So this is a great way of seeing what the final game result will be. So at this point you want to use this and you see as I look down I'm looking at that little capsule object that's part of the prefab. I can get rid of that though. I don't need that. So if I come over here I could see this light over here has a little lens flare. There's a lens flare over there on that light. So 
use this to check out your scene, do some troubleshooting, see which areas look good, which ones don't, tweak and make changes based on what you observe. If you want to, feel free to change the movement controls like the forward speed, the sideways speed, so I can increase my sideways speed here to 30, maybe the backward speed also to 30 so it moves a little bit more consistently. There's also a slope speed multiplier where you can use this F curve right here to change the, uh, the movement and we have a lot of different uh, types of things that we can do. So change the settings, hit play, test out the game, see how it moves, if it moves too fast, slow it down, if it moves too slow, uh, speed it up, things like that. So it's pretty straightforward. Okay. All right, so I'm going to hit stop right there. Um, that's pretty much going to do it for game testing here. Okay. This is just that we can run inside of our scene, test it, play it around, uh, because without this first person controller or any type of character controller, all we can do is observe the scene from the scene view, which um, is not really that great because when we go to the game view, we want to be able to run around in our scene, jump around, climb stuff, check different things out, look around, stuff like that. Okay. You can also take this guy here and move it to wherever you want to, or take the camera and move it higher if you want to um, put the point of view a little bit higher. For example, if the character is supposed to be taller, you can do that. I'm going to take this little capsule object. I'm going to go to the mesh renderer and I'm going to uncheck it to hide it. So if I jump back into the game and I look down toward my feet, I no longer see uh, that weird looking capsule object, which uh, obviously doesn't look very good. Okay. So, I'm going to stop this video here. That's going to do it for this one. I'm going to end this video. And in the next one, we're going to start talking about something really cool, post-processing effects.